like, guess what? I didn't have to cut anything this time. Look at me go. We're gonna knock out this here um, temple. If you don't know, I'm gonna show you how to cheese the ending and also how to do the, uh, the infamous puzzle that everyone loves. I'm gonna do it all without saving. Okay, I saved once, right before the puzzle, in case I mess it up. But I don't because I'm the best. All right, you just cut on down here to the right. And the object is to get the little energy disks all the way from the left pillar to the right. But you can't... You have to stack them a certain way. You can go from bottom up. So one can go over two, one can go over three, one can go over four, and three can go over four. Oh, um, but... You, you can't like you can't move two under one that that'll mess it up so you gotta kind of shuffle them it's tedious and it takes a while the way I do it at least because I know it's the safe way to do it it's tedious because you have to move one at a time and you're doing a lot of back and forth so it's upper, mid, upper, mid, lower, and lower. You can, like you, you can move one, the top one, anywhere you want, at any time. It doesn't matter. Two, you can only move it if one isn't there. Three, you can move only if one or two isn't there. So on and so forth. So we're gonna watch here. So you just move from the left, move it wherever you want. It doesn't matter yet. I move it to the right. <clears throat> yeah, I, I move it. I move it to the right, just in for my own OCD. Then move two to the middle. Then you're going to move. I don't know what I don't know what I just did. So you got three and four on the first one, and the middle has two, far right has one, and then you move one back to the middle. So you're gonna now you're gonna move number three, which is the mid lower, all the way over to the right. You're almost there. Not really. It still takes a minute. Now you're going to move from the middle to the left. N -n -n number one from the middle all the way over to the left. Now you can move two above three on the right pillar and then, and then we can start moving that number four. That lower uh, energy circle. Boom. You got all three of those there. Now you are free to move the uh, n number four to the middle. Now you just gotta do all that again in order to get the bottom energy disc all the way over to the right. Because if you do it now, you're gonna die. And I'm not about that life. So you move one just anywhere. It doesn't really matter necessarily. Then you're gonna move from the right, number two, you can only move it to one spot. You can move it to the left. Move it to the middle, you're gonna die. Move it to the left, you're fine. Now you're gonna move from the middle, number one, back over to the left where it started out at. Then you're free to move number three and just keep shuffling it. I almost clicked the wrong one, but you're moving number one, so the it don't it, 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 it can't talk. I suck. <laughs> so it doesn't matter where you move one, but this is the easiest way that I know how to do it. 
Then you can move three over. Now you're going to move from the left. Number one. As one does. Move it over to the right. I mean the middle. I recorded this like a month ago. I don't want to hear it. There's only one place you can move number two. Over to the right. But now, you move number one from the middle over to the right. Number one is red, two is green, three, yellow, four, blue. They're in ascending order, descending order. So one's top, bottom is four. Now, it's just simple. You move left on over to the middle. You move number two all the way over to the left. You move number one over to the left. Just like that. Now you are free to move the big kahuna over to the right. Now all you got you gotta do is stack them all up. So here's how we here's how we do that. Once you get to this part, it's easy. As long as you're reading and paying attention, it's easy. Move one all the way over to the right. So you can then move two to the middle. One from right to the middle. And then number three, our yellow one, all the way over to the right. So on and so forth. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited. Boom, look at that. And all you, all you gotta do is move one over to the left. And now you just move middle to the left, number two to the left, and number one to the left, to the right. And I cannot see. I don't know my directions. I don't know why I did that. Hopefully y'all are following. I'm not the best tutorial uh, giver. But that's how you do that. It's easier if you just watch. Because I confuse myself sometimes. But you get to fight some desert raids that have been alive for God knows how long. Eating what? No idea. Be something if I died right now, wouldn't it? Okay, I lied. I, I saved twice because I didn't want to do that again. Forgive me. raids and then you can go get your goodies. Honestly, I can't even remember what it was because it's likely never going to be used. This is more this is more of a flex, showing that I know how to do it. I, I didn't Google that either. That's strictly from memory. Mostly because the Google tutorials are almost as hard as the puzzle is. Oh yeah, not not guess it was poison blade. Is it anything worth writing home to? If you like using blades? Yeah. It's not bad. I... I don't really use blades. I prefer my lightsabers. Call me old school. I like the classic Jedi type build. If I was building something around swords or... I say swords, but... If I was primarily using swords for like roleplay purposes, um, then it's a great sword. It's phenomenal. So long as there's no poison resistance, but other than that, it's phenomenal. It's a pretty good sword. Now for the Terentatex. I think I'm saying that right. And here's how you cheese them. Y'all remember back on Terrace when I ran in circles? Doing that again. Because they hurt. I forgot it's locked. So I just gotta run.
that actually worked. Holy shit. Get a couple free hits in. And you're gonna wanna hit him back up with the insanity. I, I used to do core band first, so I was severely under leveled for this. So if you wanted to do this, do it this way. Run around, hit that lever, unlock that door. And now, they can't get to you. They cannot walk through that door unless they glitch through it. And as long as you stay back, you're good. And if you're a blaster build, oh, you're, you're good. And you see, he's glitching through. He's, he's through the door. That is actually the first time it's ever happened to me. But, you can still cheese him. Yeah, I uh, kind of panicked here for a second. Not gonna lie. Uh, matter of fact, I think what I was saying was, oh, oh my god, no, please god, no. But, I got him. Got him taken care of. You always want to grab the Pillar of Fire and use that grenade in the acid pool for a nice acid bath. Go ahead and lure him over here. Because they'll de-aggro as soon as you cross through, so it's a, it's a lot of back and forth. But it's worth it, especially if you go, say, straight from Dantooine. Here. It is by far the best way to just cheese it because I don't care who you are, if you do Korriban first and you try to fight them conventionally, you're gonna lose. Especially since you don't have like insanity to keep them stunned and you don't have the, you don't have the necessary, I guess you can say stats to make sure they can't save from it. Especially if you're a blaster build because you guys hit still a lot. Look at me. You're learning something today, and I've even stuttered a handful of times for you. So, wow, what an informative Sergeant Stutter video. This isn't like him at all. Eh, well, you know what? It's kind of hard thinking the things that say that are funny when it's essentially two tutorials in this video, and we're halfway over. And it's just me running around in a dark crypt with no one else with me. So, Kind of gotta fill in the space somehow. And that's how we do it. Tutorials. Even though the game is 20 years old, both everyone watching this probably already knew how to do that. If you didn't, there you go. Ah, Sith lightsaber. I'm gonna equip you later. Ah, oh, y'all sure caught up fast. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand. Not in hand, but yes, sir. The Force has served you well. You're gonna die. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation. No peaceful I haven't used that once Sometimes since I became a Jedi. Achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? Yeah. Right, this wasn't hard to get. When a Jedi acts, it is with skill, true. Fair but the Jedi teach you that your passions are counterproductive. That strength is only found in peace. Did you not feel a moment of excitement in the tomb? Did your passions not flow and make you feel stronger and more alive? What purpose would be served by restricting yourself from such? I would say only the purpose of the Jedi. Through this, they would control you and restrict your potential. That's fair. It's like you're trying to make me fall to the, to the dark side. You already have. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the yes. lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. <laughs> so it behooves you in this final test 
to strike down one you are Say less, fam. For no other reason, bring out car. You are superior and without or mission. Mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. Ah, bet. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. Is, is Kirsty an alien? It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. And you so bet your life Uthura, on that? It is you who are mistaken. Your pupil is more ambitious than you realize. Isn't that so? <laughs> I'm not killing them both you because... Fool. You have no, no idea what you've done. The final test continues that as it should. In a role playing since I'm going to need something to come back to. No. Oh, my strength is leaving me! Talk about time delay. But some tests are fairer than others. I wish you luck. Alright. Come get this work. Wow, you are not hard at all to kill. Done. Your enemy lies dead at your feet, and you are victorious. The final test is complete. phenomenal. You are truly a Sith spirit. Uh, and more than a spirit, does. Of this, I no longer have any doubt. There is much more for you to learn, perhaps, but not here. There is something very strange about you, young one. Something I cannot place. You are like no other student I have ever met. No, because I'm not. It? Is it possible that you are not what you seem to be? Tell me, young one. Tell me what you really are. Well, you see. I am. Ah, a Revan. So it is Darth Revan. Not dead, as we were led to believe. No, I am. Yet, yet you are not Revan, are you? What has occurred between the time of your reported death and now, I can only guess at. But you have changed much. Regardless, your destiny does take you away from here. To confront your old pupil. Without a doubt. Yes, that is what lies before you. Go to your Look to it. Then, my dark lord. I'm gonna make Malak die. Should you prove victorious and wish to return? I know you cringe whenever I, I said Malak's name wrong. Don't lie. That hurt your soul as much as it hurt mine. I know it did. And what's great is I don't have to fight the jihad that is the entire academy back to the Ebon Hawk. I can just, you know, walk. Which I can't teleport to the Ebon Hawk for some reason because HK47 and Useless are chilling in the academy still. Because of course they are. You know, I think this is my first ever playthrough where I actually ever got force speed. And I'm going to do this for now on. Just use a couple extra levels and get force speed. That's actually quite helpful. Ah, there's HK and useless. Still can't teleport. Great. I'm just gonna, just gonna run this way. You better not be stuck again, car. I, I swear to the force, I will end you. Like I did your son. No, wait. Too soon. I've also got a little treat for y'all. We're going to Yavin. I thought about cutting that out, but, you know, I need the content. So, 
This is already a pretty short vi video when it comes to my videos, so. Why not, eh? Me. Ah, I cannot upgrade my Sith lightsaber. Oh well, still gonna use it. Yeah, it's like almost no change in stats, so. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty then. And it looks the exact same as every other lightsaber skin in the game. Oh yeah. So fancy. Much fancy. Very good. Starforge system. Not yet. Yavin. Yeah, See if my guy has anything new for me. Really? Incoming fire. Leave me alone. Wow, I'm tearing it apart. That's what they get for giving me this much practice. This is usually more difficult. But I've been attacked so many damn times in a three hour time span of playing that um, it's not even close to being difficult. So let's go see what our boy's doing on Yavin. Anderson an HK because I don't need useless anymore. Oh, yeah. Got to level up daddy. I mean, Candorous. Y'all didn't hear anything. I'll deny it if you say if you say if, if you ever say anything. Oh, and no records these. Can y'all speak English? I don't speak none of that there Spacian. I'm from Space America. This is um colonization? I don't know. I'll fight in here if I want to. Oh, you should be very afraid. Come back if you want. I don't care. I'll be long gone. Um, spoiler alert, I'm not coming back. All right, I'll send me stuff. I'm not going to cut this part out either because I need the content. That's expensive. Oh, that's painful. I guess I could, uh, I ain't going to be able to buy shit, ain't I? Oh no. Maybe I can sell some stuff? Question mark. Do I really need Jedi Master robes? Or who set the battle armor? Do I really need Bacchus blade? No, but will I allow myself to sell the unique stuff? No. All these extra damn lightsabers though can go. Because this isn't KOTOR 2 where I'm having to hoard lightsabers to arm my companions. And I got the 15,000. Kandrus is gonna love it. 
Actually, I think that's going to HK. I don't know. I haven't assigned it yet. It ain't going to Carve, I'll tell you that right now. It's not going to Mission or Zalbar either. So, it's probably going to go to HK47 or Candorous. Alright. I'm going to take y'all to the Star Forge world. We're going to do that little cutscene, and then we're done. I lied. See y'all next time. Where do we actually do go to the Star Forge system? Y'all take care.